Wow, wow, wow. So this was a, another fantastic KVK for K52 versus my Old Kingdom K66. It was really good to see some familiar players um, and players still around in the game. Really, really good to see. So you can see there K52 really scoring the most amount of points in comparison to K66. In terms of Alliance ranking, you can see Tang Dynasty there at the top. Really, really well done to Tan. We had some of the players from Red join us. So some of the players there, for example, Tango up joining us. Um, Drop Soap there. Um, Nihil List. Really, really good to the K, well, to the Red players for joining us and allowing us to fill some of those damaging rallies. In second place, we've got the Ruling Alliance, War Kings from K52, also doing a fantastic job. Really, really well done to them. Um, yeah, RYI has um, left the kingdom and merged, so only 1WR is remaining and running the kingdom. So really, really well done to them. Third place, Tin coming in there. Um, really, really well done to them. Mitternacht still in K66. Really good job. CUK from K52. And then my favorite word to say, Schneewolfe from K66. Really good to see that. Some of these K66 alliances are still there. Really, really well done. In terms of the solo points scored, there you can see me coming in in fifth place. Um, really, really well done to the K52 um, players for doing a great job. Drop Soap coming in there, scoring the most amounts of points. Really well done to Drop Soap. If we go and have a look at Tango Up, really well done to Tango Up there. Um, and then in third place, we have um, Uruk, who's, yeah, I think he was close to 1.5 billion at the start and dropped some weight over there. So really well done to Uruk as well for scoring the most amount of points for K66. In fourth place, we've got R101, an old Alliance member of mine. Really, really good to see. Really doing some serious damage. Um, <laughs> and tanking two rallies from Drop Soap. So really, really well done. And then, yeah, me. I'm so glad to be able to play um, my account um, for KVK and actually still to do fairly well in terms of the damages i think though there was a lot of players who were suiciding themselves so they could leave k66 but thank you so much for the merit i really appreciated it um but yeah the solo point scores was mainly from killing and being in king's landing in sixth place there we've got kerry coming in really well done to kerry fantastic job and then another older Lions member of mine, Koyan, really well done to you. Root Info coming in there in eighth place. My other account, Anatad, coming in in ninth place. So two accounts there in the top 10 for me. Really good. Um, new player on K52, True Prodigy, um, also scoring a lot of points. Really well done to you. And then we've got 1WR coming in there, Red Jasper and Johnny Walker doing a really good job. So all in all, really well done to the K52 players. In terms of solo kills, <laughs> you're coming in there, obviously doing the most amount of damage. Um, a real beast. Um, fantastic job. R10 the first, really well done as well. Stunning, stunning performance. 
In third place, Croyan, really well done. I think you did get zeroed. Um, so a lot of those kills are related to that. True Prodigy being the first K52 player, coming in there being our most valued killer for K52. And there's me just missing out um, of being the most valued killer for K52. Well done to 1WR, Red Jasper coming in there um, in sixth place, Johnny Walker in seventh, really good combination. Um, and there's some more drop soap coming in there in ninth place, Mary in eighth, um, new members coming in, Shrike, really well done. A uh, new member who joined us, Saltuk Bugra, Niffy coming in. So yeah, really, really great performance by K52. Um, yeah, really good, really good. Really enjoyed this KVK as well. There we go. So Drop, Sco Drop Soap actually came 85th in the world for KVK points. So really, really well done to Drop Soap. Really good to see one of us in the top 100. Really well done. And yeah, fantastic. So there we have Tan coming in in 90th place. Really well done for Tan being in the top 100. I think it's been quite a while, not since the early days of the game, that we've been in the top 100. So really, really well done to Tan. Really enjoyed this KVK. I think I've said that a couple of times now. You can have a shooter for every time I've said that. If we have a look at the K52 castles, there you can see a clean sweep for K52. Um, really, really well done to the K52 alliances. If we have a look at King's Landing, there you can see Tan <laughs> holding it for really the most amount of time. And then, um, yeah, OBV holding it for five minutes. If we have a look at K51, if we have a look at K66, there we can see King's Landing held the most amount of time by MF1, um, as well as Sunspear, and the K52 alliances taking the other castles. Yeah, so this was a more of a closer one. There we can see Mitternacht's Fuya coming in there, holding it for nine hours. Wolfbane, the, one of the new players on K52, there coming in and holding it for six hours. So everybody gets to keep their castles and their King's Landing buffs, which is always good to see. But all in all, I really, really enjoyed this KVK. I think it was one of our first KVKs without Suyon there um, playing with us. So we got to stand on our own two feet and yeah, really well done. Did some fantastic damage. Make sure you see the highlights to see some of the footage I've got. But yeah, fantastic time. Thanks very much, everybody. Till the next video.